What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. I hope you're all well. Thank you for the suggestion, I think his name was Yutoshio. <laughs> so, we'll get into Gala. Please like this video, subscribe, turn the notification bell on for Twitter and YouTube. And of course, comment down below what altcoin you want to see next. I do have some spare time today, so that's why I'm getting out a few more videos than usual. So, this chart is just literally vertical, so at the moment so we need to find some key levels of support basically and we can only go off previous swing highs so we've got a swing high over here and over here they're kind of lining up with the the, the the 55 and the 20 so I'm going to turn on whoops I'm going to turn on the 12 EMA so the 12 EMA is lining up over here so this is this could be an area where you fall back to let's go to a closer time frame because it's not the not the clearest yeah, so I really don't like how vertical it is, to be honest, guys, but nothing, can't do much about that. It just means that it needs to come down. So if it can't hold this support at the 55, and it, it may not, because at the moment you are hitting your head on the 20. So this is like a a, a clue that it's going to fall to the 55, where you can form this double bottom, basically. And so if you do... We want to see that hold. If not, you're going to come to this swing high over here. And if not, this swing low. So we'll just mark them, mark up those levels now for you. Yeah, there. And then down here. Swing high and swing low just here. Um, going to bring that up to there. Perfect. So these are your key levels of support and resistance. Let's say the bottom is in. Let's say that we can get above the 20 and confirm that the that the dip is done then and that our bottom is in so we will use the fibs the level that we want to break is actually the double bottoms neckline over here at the 618 which is the level that we want to break anyway so we want to break 72 cent once you can once you can break 72 cent we want to see that back tested as support before heading to the one which you're doing because you're in this sort of you're in this sort of pattern right now it's falling wedge over here can you see that and you're coming to the apex the apex is right there so you could come all the way, but most of the time you don't. And that's going to be in the next, what, two days. So in the next two days, we're going to have a breakout, whether that's to the upside or to the downside. So we want to break 72 cents. When you break out, you're retracing to the top. And I'd give that as the 786, so 77 cent. If we can break 72, then we've got a new target above the all-time high sitting at 87 cents. So I'm going to leave that there in the chart. Confirm that. So what's going to happen is you're going to, Work your way up above the fibs, maybe fall back down, get above the 618, confirm that support, retrace to the high, meet our new target, fall back, maybe even fall back to the 786 before heading to the 1618 at 107 cents. Once we get up there, we can fall all the way back to the one. Worst case, the 618. I've seen that sometimes, not a lot of the time, but I have seen that before. We can fall to the one, usually it's the 1.272. So if you can hold one of them levels, then we're going to head to these higher up targets. And that would be $1.50 basically. So my next impulsive wave target for Gala is $1.50. And from current price, that is a pump of 130%. This won't be the end of bull runs target. This is just what we've got at the moment. There's not enough dips basically. We need a mega dip basically. Because even with this one over here, let's measure. You've already met the technical target, yeah. And you haven't back tested them as support. So that's why I've given you these two levels over here. So the 200 EMA is lining up with that. So you could you could actually fall all the way down to here, then bounce. And then the bigger the dip, the bigger the rip. So if you did fall all the way down there, you have better targets at upside at like uh, $2.68 basically. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was just a short one because there's not much of this chart. It's just gone parabolic, basically. It needs to come down to key levels of support. Of course, if we break out now, it's got some technical targets to the upside. But yeah, we do need to wait for a larger dip with this. Perfect. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.